On March 24th of 2001, Apple started selling Mac OS 10.0 Cheetah to the public. And now 20 years and one day later, we're going to be installing Mac OS 10.0 on period hardware. Let's get started. So here is my iBook G3, which is what I'm going to be installing this onto, this iBook G3 clamshell. I already did a dedicated video on that. This machine, I, I believe, originally shipped with uh, Mac OS 8 or 9, but it will be able to run 10.0 just fine is my totally legit Mac OS 10.0 Cheetah disc. You can see from the immaculacy of this disc that it was definitely professionally printed and, and, and not made and not just burned. I did not just write all this stuff on Sharpie. I mean, it has an Apple logo, of course it's legit. Anyways, let's go ahead and turn on this iBook G3 and hold down option. And look at that, we have the hard drive, which I which is called Distro's iBook G3 right now, but we're gonna be erasing that, of course, because I'm going to be installing Mac OS 10.0 Cheetah. So let's open up the disk drive. Pop it out. Put the disk in like this. And we should be able to get the thing working. And the disk doesn't appear to be detected, so let's go ahead and refresh the page. Let's see if we can get it to be detected. And I hear it spinning. And there we go. I can we can see the disk has officially been detected. You can see we have a Happy Mac, which is something Apple actually removed in 10.2 Jaguar. I've seen videos of this before, and I remember in those videos it took a long time. And we got a kernel panic, and it says, unable to find driver for this platform, PowerBook 2.1, which is obviously the iBook G3. Now, it's possible this is because the disk I have might be a slightly too new or slightly too old or the wrong disk for the job. So I'm going to go ahead and research this a little bit, uh, maybe burn another disk. Hopefully, we can get this running. Otherwise, this is just going to be a short video. Hey, Editor Distro here. So I have footage of some of the stuff, but it's not very good, and the audio is kind of messed up. But uh, basically, I tried a bunch of different things with that disk. Uh, like safe mode and a couple of other things, but it just did not seem to work. Uh, that disc ended up, I'm guessing the burn went, there's something went wrong with the burn, or maybe that image was wrong. I, I downloaded another one from Windworld before I was using Macintosh Garden, but I had another problem, which was, uh, at the same exact moment, the CD drive in my other iBook G3 decided to just stop working. So, let's just roll the clip. After trying a whole bunch of things, I determined that this CD drive in this iBook is dead. What I'm going to have to do to, to get rid of that is use another drive. Now the only problem is... I have another drive, but I don't really have a way to hook it up to USB. I have a SATA drive somewhere, and I don't have a way to hook it up to USB without modifying one of my hard drive enclosures, which is what I'm going to try to do. So here is a random hard drive enclosure that I have. It has 500 gigabytes of blank, uh, blank hard drives in here, uh, and I have been in there, as you can see by the void warranty. After that, I found my other CD drive and opened up the hard drive enclosure. All right, we are inside the hard drive enclosure. Now it's time to unplug the hard drive, both of the hard drive's power cables and one of the hard drive's data cables because I don't think I need to unplug the other one and plug in this disk drive right here. I'll use the other data cable. And look at that. This is my hodgepodge of a DVD drive. And I believe I have to change the jumper settings to be, to remove the jumper. Pull out the jumper, 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 pull out the jumper. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and plug this thing into wall power and plug it into firewire. Because, yep, this thing has firewire, which is awesome because this computer right here also happens to have firewire. 
The iBook doesn't, but it has an internal working CD drive, so I don't actually need this drive once I have the thing burned. I'm gonna plug it in. Nope, wrong direction. I need to plug the FireWire 800 end into here, and the FireWire 400 end into the iBook. And whatever, I don't care. I just unplugged the USB stick before this. And now, let's go ahead and get a power cable and hope I don't set the house on fire. And it's plugged in. This is, has to be the most hodgepodge of a DVD drive I have ever done. I hear the thing spinning up. Stick the CD in the drive. I'm sorry that you can't see this, but I'm doing it. And it just made some marks on the disc and ejected it, so... Let's go ahead and try that again, make sure it wasn't something weird. Come on, are you gonna show up on the computer or not? Oh yes, it did! Showed up on the computer. It mounted on the computer, and it said it was read-only for some reason, so I tried another disc. Still says read only, but let's see if the burn works here. Burn in the other drive. Look at that, it appears to want to be able to burn. Let's go ahead and click burn. And hopefully, this works. Because if it doesn't, it's going to be a huge pain in the butt. And look at that, it's burning! Look at that! Hopefully, I, I will come back when this is done, because the recording is getting a bit long, but hopefully, this actually works. And would you look at that? It burned successfully. I do not know how, but now I have to clear out my desk of all of this crap. This is the disc. I'm going to legitimize... I'm gonna make this disc legitimate, not just burned. Here we go. This is how I made this disc legitimate. But now, if this doesn't work and I have to burn another disc, I know how to do it. So now, we can boot it up, holding down Option. Still have the old disc in there. Doesn't really matter because we won't be using that. All right, let's put in the new disc. and reload and we have the disc so let's go ahead and click on this disc again and then cross our fingers that this actually works seems to be here for a while though i forgot to capture my audio so i'm sorry that that was so bad sorry i had to use the internal phone audio but here goes let's see if this Thing boots. Look at that! We've already gotten further than we did before because we have a spinning beach ball rather than a just a static beach ball and immediately a kernel panic. We have a spinning beach ball. Let's see if the cursor now does not move around, but you can see the beach ball up in, up in the upper right hand corner. You probably can see that that is. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. And would you look at that! It is almost finished booting up. No guarantees it'll actually install, though. <laughs> Hopefully my drive isn't dead. Look at that! Preparing installation. Uh, thank you, WinWorld, and thank you, garbage fire of a setup here. I believe I can go here and open the disk utility. I can actually reset password in this version. That's pretty cool. Uh, still, still loading, still loading, you know? There we go. Drive setup. Partition. Subscribe. The iBook hard drive set, not me. And partition. And look at that, we are done. So let's go ahead and quit that. Use English for the language. Continue. Continue. Continue, and agree to your outdated agreement that I'm probably breaking every single thing in, but you know what? I'll agree anything. To use your classic Mac OS 9 installations, I do not care right now. Um, because this is just a proof of concept. 
and continue, customize. I don't want print drivers at all. And let's install. Alright, the installation has completed. I was a little late there, I was planning on doing like a one minute remaining or whatever, but let's go ahead and restart and hopefully cross our fingers that nothing broke. And we're about to witness the best intro music of any Mac OS X intro. Let me make sure the volume is turned up. Not sure if the volume keys are working. Wait, what? It just skipped the intro! And why is the volume not up? I mean, these speakers do work. Whatever, let's just click continue. I didn't hear the startup sound, but that's probably because the volume was muted the last time I tried to use this computer. But that's what post-processing is for. I'll just edit in the music. Name. What should my name be? I am... I am Steve Jobs. And my password is... I don't care. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not gonna put one in. Steve Job. I don't know why the short name doesn't have an S. Probably because there's already a user on here called Steve Jobs that uh, is just hidden. We are in the system. So, now that we're in the system, uh, there isn't all that much to do because it, it's not a particularly fully featured operating system. Like, um, it's very old and not very many software, like modern software, can really run on 10.0. Uh, 10.0 is a pretty bad version of Mac OS, to be honest, but this was just a proof of concept. This was just a fun video that I wanted to put out. Hopefully somebody can be entertained by this video. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Do on my Discord server if you want to do that. Do on my Twitter for behind the scenes content. I do have a Twitter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the future.